What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna review the Dynaudio Special 40 Bookshelf Speaker. I've had my eye on these speakers for a while. I've never brought them in for review because I wasn't that interested, but I ended up buying them, so here we are. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna tell you what they sound like. I'll throw the main specs on screen so you guys could check that out. I'll tell you about some standout features that I think are cool. I'll tell you what they sound like. We'll do some comparisons and we'll wrap up the damn video. So, standout features. I think it's worth mentioning that Dyn Audio is a company that makes their own drivers. They're, they do their own R&D and everything. I think that's pretty cool. You guys might not know this, but a lot of speakers, especially more affordable ones, they're, they're using off-the-shelf drivers, again, where Dyn Audio is manufacturing their own and designing their own. Pretty cool stuff. The Special 40 is also made in Denmark. That doesn't personally matter to me, but based on my interactions with a lot of you guys in the comments or my Discord server, it does seem like country of origin does matter to some of you guys. So I thought it was pretty cool that this speaker is made in the same country where the company is headquartered, and that is Denmark. So around back is a standard affair. We've got a you know your average port. It looks to be tuned to about 50 hertz based on my math and a pair of binding posts. The finish on the speaker, major standout feature, absolutely incredible looking. If you like a high gloss lacquer finish, you like a wood grain that's got a ton of depth and texture and vibrance to it, you owe it to yourself to put your eyeballs on these speakers in real life. They look incredible. Uh, the plaque that's underneath the mid-bass driver that says Dyn Audio is finished in black, I think that's a nice final touch. And uh, it, just, it just tells me they got an eye for detail, and I appreciate that. So what the hell do they sound like? Are they any good? Should you buy them? I know a lot of you guys have this speaker on your maybe I'm going to buy them list. So let's jump into it. Starting at the top end, we've got a treble region that is going to be not necessarily dark nor necessarily bright. It's mostly neutral, if anything, just slightly, and I mean slightly forward, just enough to give you a good sense of air and sparkle. The treble attack is gonna be on the softer side. It's not gonna be sharp like a Focal speaker, for example. Most Dyn Audios I've heard do have a soft attack to their treble. That might be the house sound. I don't know, I haven't heard enough of them. I've only heard three to date, so. Anyhow, the treble soft, it's easy on the ears. I call that smooth. When I say smooth, I don't mean rolled off. These are gonna have really good detail retrieval and all kinds of stuff like that, so you don't have to worry about detail. Um, the sound stage is gonna be expansive in all dimensions, height, width, and depth. Um, no surprise there. Let's move down to the mid-range. The mid-range is gonna be on the warmer side of neutral. It's gonna have good tone and texture to it. When a mid-range is gonna be on the warmer side of neutral, like the Special 40, it's not gonna be the most open and clear mid-range. That's not to say it sounds closed off in any way, but if you did a direct A-B comparison to something more analytical analytical and cool in the mid-range, like the Focal Aria 906, that is gonna sound a little bit more open in the mid-range by direct comparison. But again, the Special 40 did not sound congested or closed off in any way in the mid-range, only by direct A-B comparison to a more analytical speaker. In fact, I think it's got a mid-range and treble region that a lot of people are going to like. It's, it's not really standing out in any one particular way. It's voiced on the warmer side just overall from top to bottom. It does well with a wide, and I mean very wide, variety of music. In fact, I couldn't find a song that didn't sound good on the Special 40. Moving down to the bass, there is a lot of it. Holy crap, this is a bass monster. A subwoofer is optional. I mean... We're talking damn near Buchard S400 levels of bass. Incredible bass. Very strong, very prominent. Um, it doesn't muddy up the mid-range by any means. If you shove them too far against the wall, it will overload your room and it will start to bleed into the mid-range and muck things up. These are speakers that are gonna need to be pulled out from the walls, I'd say at least two feet. I actually let a friend borrow these. And uh, at first he was like, these have too much bass. Like they, I'm not loving them, honestly. They're, they're kind of just like, real mucky and sloppy. Then he pulled them out from the walls and he was like, all right, these sound incredible. So just word to the wise, if your room cannot accommodate speakers being pulled out and you've got to shove them all the way against the wall, I hate to say it, these aren't for you. Just take them off your list, find something else. But when you can pull them out from the wall, you are rewarded with bass that is impactful, good transient response, speed, note to note distinction is good. All aspects of bass are good. It is gonna roll off right around 45 hertz. Again, that port tuning frequency is right around 50, so that's no surprise. It's not gonna extend like a subwoofer. Um, but if you listen to say like rock and roll, normal kinds of music with instruments and such, I do think a subwoofer is optional. 
If you're like me and you listen to rap music and EDM and things like that, and you like that room rumble, you wanna feel like there's waves of water in your room, then yeah, you're gonna need a subwoofer no matter what, right? I'm in that category, it is what it is, I'm just a bass head. So, it's a good speaker. From top to bottom, I think it's got a sound a lot of people are gonna like. It's easy to recommend, it's easy to listen to. No particular feature is over the top or voiced too aggressively. It's just got a good warm tonal character and great detail to it. That's the takeaway. How does it compare to other speakers though? Let's start with the Sonos Faber Sonetto 2. Um, that's another speaker that's gonna to be tonally somewhat similar. The top end on both speakers is gonna be fairly good, but the win is gonna to go to the Special 40. It's got the more refined tweeter, a little bit more effortless, a little bit more clarity and so on. And the Sonetto 2 is gonna be not sharp or soft, more neutral with its attack, but a little bit more energetic. Moving down to the mid-range, both are gonna be on the warmer side of neutral. Um, both are gonna have good like texture and tone to them. I did feel the Sonos Faber Sonetto 2 pushed the vocalist into the room just a little bit more and gave the vocalist a little bit more of a sense of air and space around them compared to the Special 40. The uh, vocalist was just pulled back a little bit by direct comparison on the Special 40. Moving down to the bass, both speakers have a ton of bass. The Special 40 has quite a bit more. Uh, it has better transient response, note-to-note -note distinction and articulation compared to the Sonato 2. So uh, again, the, as far as bass goes, both are really good but the Special 40 takes the win just easily in the base department. Um, let's compare the Special 40 to the Focal Aria 906, that's $2,200. Um, and, and by the way, if, if I'm not comparing the Special 40 to speakers that are $3,600, it's because that's an odd price. And there just ain't shit that's $3,600, guys. It's kind of just the Special 40. Anyhow, I digress. Focal Aria 906, one of my favorite speakers. The two couldn't be more different, guys. I love the Aria 906, but it's voiced totally the opposite. Where the Special 40 is gonna be a little bit soft with its attack in the top end, um, Focal Aria 906 is gonna be sharp. It's gonna have more clarity, more resolution, more detail to it. Uh, that's kind of the Focal Aria 906's party trick. Moving down to the mid-range, where the Special 40 is warm and like tonally textured and rich and stuff like that, the Focal Aria 906 is gonna be fast, dynamic. It's gonna be on the cool side of neutral. It's gonna be analytical. It is gonna sound more open by direct comparison. That's just what happens when a speaker is voiced on the cooler side. Mid-range is just more open sounding, more clear sounding, and so on. Uh, vocalists with the Aria 906 did project into the room in a forward manner a little bit more and have more of a sense of air and space around them. Um, again, with the Special 40, that's one area where I'd say it was just a little bit, I'd say, lacking for the price category. I didn't feel they had the most space around the vocalist. Um, on its own, it's incredible, but when you do the direct A-B comparison, it's something you notice. So if you own these and you're like, hey, I own these, like, vocalists sound incredible, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's just when you do a direct A-B comparison to some other stuff in and around this price, you'll find other speakers do have a little bit more air and space around the vocalist, it just is what it is. Moving down to the bass, Focal Aria 906 is gonna have a lot less bass, its bass is gonna be quicker, tighter, um, a little bit better note-to-note -note distinction, but it's, it doesn't really mean much because there's just not a lot of bass, so the note-to-note -note, note -note distinction doesn't really matter. Um, the Special 40 has the better bass by a long shot, especially if you're not gonna use a subwoofer. It hits harder, it extends deeper, it, it's like more punchy. It, it's just gonna have a much fuller sound. Easy takeaway here, uh, Dynaudio Special 40 is simply warm from top to bottom. Focal Aria 906 is not. It's cool, it's analytical, it's fast, it's dynamic, it's snappy. It's the total opposite speaker. You would never cross shop the two. If you're cross shopping Focal and Dyn Audio Special 40, you, you, I would say you're at a part in your audio journey where you need to spend a little bit more time discovering what your taste is and how to describe it to yourself so you know what to look for. Cross shopping the two is like cross shopping like a car in an airplane. It just like doesn't make sense, you know? Anyway. Next speaker, Bucard S400 Mark II, one of my absolute favorites. 20, no, they're about $2,000 flat right now, the Bucard S400 Mark IIs. Starting at the top end, the treble on the Bucard S400 Mark II is a little bit more pulled back, but a little bit sharper with its attack. Um, the Dynaudio Special 40 is a little bit more forward with its treble, but a little bit softer with its attack. So treble quantity, if you just did like an AB comparison comparing the two, I think most people would think they're the exact same um, because, the 
a little bit brighter but softer treble versus a little bit pulled back but sharper treble. They're both really easy on the ears. They both give you a good amount of detail, a good amount of separation and so on. I did feel like treble separation was a little bit better than the S400 Mark II, but tonal, I don't know what the hell the word to use is, but like natural sounding-ish or whatever the fuck you would say. The Special 40 just sounded more like real or organic, if you will. Um, but both had an incredible top end, no complaints on either one. Moving down to the mid-range, both are going to be a little bit on the warmer side of neutral. The Special 40 is quite a bit warmer than the Bucard S400 Mark II in the mid-range. So the S400 Mark II's mid-range is a little bit more open sounding. Again, vocalists have a larger sense of space and air around them. I felt instrument separation was better and um, the vocalist was pushed into the room just a little bit better as well. Again, Special 40 is not bad in the mid-range. It's just when a mid-range is this warm, that's what happens. Tonally, it sounds beautiful. Instruments sound very real and organic. It's just gonna be a little bit closed off directly compared to anything that's less warm. It is what it is, guys. Well, not necessarily. If you spend a boatload of money, you can have the best of both worlds, but that's another story. Anyhow, moving down to the bass, both speakers have a ton of bass. The Special 40 is gonna have just a little bit more kick around its port tuning frequency of 50 hertz. But for the most part, the S400 does hit just a little bit harder. Uh, it extends lower. It has more bass overall. I'd say, actually, let me take that back. 50 hertz and up, the Dyne Audio Special 40 kicks and punches a, a little bit harder. 50 hertz down, the S400 has quite a bit more bass and quite a bit more extension. I felt the Dyne Audio Special 40 fell off right around 45 hertz. Whereas with the S400, I'm getting solid extension down to about 35 hertz. Both have really, really good bass. Guys, I could not decide which speaker I thought had the better bass. Both had good transient response. Both had good note to note distinction. Um, any word you want to describe, uh, use to describe bass fidelity. Both speakers, absolutely incredible. And they're both bass monsters. A subwoofer really is optional for both speakers. Again, unless, unless you listen to a ton of EDM, hip hop, stuff like that. So that brings us to the conclusion of the comparisons. And uh, for the Bucard S400 Mark II comparison, let me just say this. I think you should decide if you're between those two. Um, well, there's a big price difference between the two, 3,600 for the Special 40, 2,000 for the S400. I mean, there's a whole Kef LS50 meta you could buy, uh, you know, in, in addition to the S400 Mark II to match this price. But if you're cross shopping the two, I'd say decide on the treble. You're either gonna like the softer treble attack of the Special 40, or you're gonna like the sharper treble attack of the S400. Me personally, I like the sharper attack of the S400, and that's no surprise. I'm a big fan of Focal speakers that are also known to have a sharper attack in the treble region. So, there's also the case of value, but again, if you're cross shopping the two, we're gonna assume you can afford both, but if it's just like a value question, yeah, the S400 Mark II is the better speaker overall. That's kind of an easy one. It's $1,600 less money. I think it's treble is a little bit more open sounding. It's mid-range is a little bit more open sounding. It's bass extends a little bit lower. The Special 40, a little bit more organic sounding, a little bit more realism to it. Not $1,600 more, but that's always the case, I guess. You know what I mean? You could say the same about my amps. You know what I mean? My, my mono blocks and preamp are like six grand. If you compare it to an amp that's like two grand, it's not three times better. That's just how it goes when you go up in price, I guess. It is what it is. Anyhow, I digress. Um, if you own the Special 40 and I said anything in this video that upsets you, let me be absolutely clear if you're about to leave a nasty comment. I don't give a fuck what you think. I really don't. If you're having an emotional reaction to this video that is here for the purpose of entertainment, I don't know what to tell you. This is not a personal attack. Nothing I say in my videos is at anyone, guys. If it is, I'll make sure to name drop them, you know? They're good speakers, they are. Um, yeah, I digress. Look, this channel's got a free Discord. Join it if you want to. If you do join, be cool, don't be an asshole. Um, if you're an asshole, you'll get kicked. You know what I mean? We do have a moderator. Um, otherwise, that's a pretty chill spot. I'd say, you know who's the best candidate for my Discord? And, and this is most of the people that are in there are like this. Anyone who's like, who doesn't like the internet, anyone who, you know, you're like, ah, oh, fuck social media. It's a cesspool. Oh, fuck the forums. Everyone's toxic. You will like my discord if you're one of those people. Cause that's how I am. 
And my Discord is more just like a kickback spot. Like sometimes nothing's happening. We got 500 people in there. And sometimes no one's talking. If there's nothing to say, if there's nothing to say. Other times we're talking. When we're talking, we're talking with a purpose. Maybe someone's got a question about a certain AVR they want to buy. So they're going to ask that question. People are going to answer that question. No one talks down to anyone. No one's disrespectful. No one's going to make you feel stupid. We're just like, uh, we treat each other kind of like we're old friends, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, next up is the Focal Canta number one. That's what we're going to review next. I'm really looking forward to that. That's a $8,000 a pair speaker. We're going to find out what that amount of money gets you. If you have any questions, ask in the comment sections below or join the free Discord. Until next time, later.